Now, if you've ever looked inside of a microwave oven, you've probably noticed there's a tray in there that rotates. That's to provide even heating. This tray is a little glass tray that sits on top of a rotary tray underneath it, which has three little wheels at the end of the spokes like that. Now, one evening, my wife was heating some tea in the microwave, and as it rotated, I noticed something interesting from a physics point of view. And here's the question I have for you. If I let the glass tray go through one complete revolution, how many revolutions does the rotary tray underneath it complete? Does it complete half a revolution, one revolution, or two? Well, let's try it out. I've got a little marker on the table here for a point of reference, and I'll line up the rotary tray with that marker. We'll put our mug on the glass tray to keep track of what the glass tray is doing. And let's go through one revolution. Okay, the glass tray comes back to its starting point. You see the rotary tray underneath has done half a revolution. So the answer is one, one half revolution of the rotary tray. If I go through one more revolution, just to complete things here, we'll bring the mug back to the reference point the tray comes to the reference point. So two complete revolutions of the glass tray on top correspond to one revolution of the rotary tray underneath. Now why is that happening? Well, if you think back to how wheels roll, a rolling wheel has zero speed at the bottom, it has speed V at the axle, and it has speed 2V at the top of the wheel. This glass tray is riding on top of the wheels of the rotary tray, and therefore it is rotating at twice the speed that the tray itself is moving. And that's why the glass tray ends up doing two rotations in the time it takes the rotary tray underneath to do just a single rotation. Now, to put it in a real-world context, just think of driving down the freeway at 60 miles an hour. The axle of your car is going 60 miles an hour but the top of your wheel is going at 120 miles an hour. And that's exactly the same physics that's going on with these rotary trays. Think about that next time you look inside your microwave.